Now, um, here's the thing. Donald Trump may not be indicted, but one person is facing consequences for his alleged crimes, mm. and that's high-profile lawyer and guy who's lawyer in here. <laughs> Michael Avenatti, you may remember Avenatti as the man who used to represent Stormy Daniels in her suit against the president, using the cunning legal strategy of spending 24 hours a day on cable news talking about himself. <laughs> At the time, he got such a high profile that he announced he was exploring a run for president. Now, <laughs> come on. A man that egotistical and self-promoting had a pretty good shot. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, take off that Avenatti 2020 shirt. <laughs> because today, Avenatti was arrested for an alleged $20 million extortion scheme against Nike. <laughs> so, everyone who comes into contact with Donald Trump becomes a criminal. Is that how this works? <laughs> All you have to do is make eye contact with him, and bam, you're smuggling endangered sea turtles out of the Philippines. <laughs> First, a heavy sea turtle over there, John. Yeah. Yeah. First, turtle. Mueller finds no collusion. Now Avenatti gets arrested. Did Donald Trump recently find a genie? <laughs> What's going to be his third wish? Okay, genie, last wish. Either I ban you because you're a Muslim or <laughs> unlimited hamburgers. <laughs> I love Will Smith. Here's what happened. Avenatti claimed he had proof that Nike was secretly paying star high school athletes and their families to get them to go to certain colleges. We know that's not how it works. Parents are supposed to secretly pay college coaches to pretend their students are star athletes. Now, did I get that right? Did I get that right? Is that how it works? The story. Avenatti told Nike that he would spill the beans unless Nike made a payment of $1.5 million to a client of Avenatti's and agreed to retain Avenatti for between $15 and $25 million. He thought Nike was going to hire him after that? That's a bold move. That's like showing up to your job interview and saying, um, what's my greatest weakness? Well, I guess I care too much about these photos I have of you and your mistress. <laughs> now, one of Nike's lawyers pointed out that he never got paid that high of a retainer, to which Avenatti asked, have you held the balls of your client in your hand where you could take five to six billion dollars market cap off of them? I did not realize holding your client's balls was a standard part of legal services. <laughs> I need a new attorney. <laughs> Avenatti... I believe that's called passing the bar. Avenatti was ready to act on his threat. This morning, he tweeted, Tomorrow at 11 a.m., we will be holding a press conference to disclose a major high school slash college basketball scandal perpetrated by at Nike that we have uncovered. But unfortunately, Avenatti's plan ran into a bit of a hiccup because the FBI showed up to arrest him 15 minutes after he tweeted. <laughs> yeah. They got him. Yeah. Fast. Real quick. fast. They saw that That's tweet. the FBI promise. Boom. If we don't bring justice in 30 minutes or less, the perp walks free. <laughs> and that's just the beginning, because minutes after the news about the New York charges broke, federal prosecutors in California charged Avenatti in a separate case involving wire and bank fraud. Wow! <laughs> Separately, they double-teamed him. And at this moment, I'm not going to make any reference to Stormy Daniels. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be back.